guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my experience starting high school. Yeah. So let's get on with that video. Yeah, yeah that was not good. So, my first experience when I got to school was I thought it was going to be like high school musical. And I thought you people would just break into song and I would fall straight into a friend group. No. No. It's nothing like that. I first got to school. The first day, um, I'm lucky that my friends went to the same school as me. But I know some people weren't lucky and knew no one. But I was lucky that I had a couple of friends in my class. So, the fi first big change for me, for big school, was the classrooms. So, in my school, my um, previous school, primary... Um, we stayed in the same classroom, we just switched lessons, so once you did an hour of one lesson, we just go straight into the next lesson, and then we'd have break, and then two lessons, and then lunch, then lesson, and then home time. Yes, but, no, you, if you had, if you were having a rough day, you had to travel, say if you were in, so say this was the first lesson of the school, up here, and then this was your second lesson, and then this was your third, and this was your fourth, and this was your sixth, fifth. You would have to travel all around the school just to get to the lessons. And you only had five minutes to get to each lesson. So if you were ill or you literally had a bad leg, you would die. Um, I had a bad leg because um, I just did PE one time. And I had to get from the PE place to the other side of the school in five minutes. I was like hobbling. I was like, <sighs> everyone was staring at me. I was like, I need to get. The next big thing was I've just gone from being the big kids at school, year six, best kids. You had the whole entire playground to yourself. You would be the boss to the new starters again. Yeah. Yeah, so it's actually really hard going in from being the coolest kids in school, being the year sixes. Yeah, you're the oldest. You can do anything you want. To go into the year sevens, doing nothing, everybody's taller than you. <laughs> I am one of the smallest year sevens, so there's me and then there's my friend Bailey, um, he's, I've known him for all of my life, I've known him since I started primary school, which was 11, nearly 12 years ago, yeah, we've known each other for a long time, because we were put in the same classes, um, all the way through, and then in year six we were put in different classes, but then the teachers decided to join the classrooms together, so we were put in the same class anyway. Um, another big, big thing of starting secondary school was the teachers, because you've just gone through like six, seven years of school, just knowing your teachers, having the same teachers. You might have changed, but you still know where your same teachers are, so you know where to go to. Or, and you've just learned about them. And now you're going to a school where like every classroom has a new teacher. And it is actually really scary, guys. But um, it, once you like know find the teachers that you like know will help you get through things, it was a, it's a lot easier. Cause um, I struggle I struggle still finding the right teacher because every teacher seems to get on my nerves every day. <laughs> so it's <laughs> really hard. But um, after you find the right teacher, it's easy because you can just go to that teacher if you have problems. And but there's another thing, there's always that one teacher that you just hate really badly. So I have I have one of those teachers too. She was my maths teacher in year seven. I absolutely hate her. But at least now that I'm starting year eight, I don't have to deal with her anymore because she's not in my teacher anymore. But I have no, no idea what my teachers are. I could probably end up with the same teachers, but I highly doubt it. I might have some of the teachers from the previous year, but I think I'm not going to have, like, most of them. I think most of them are going to be new, but it's okay because I get through it. I can get through things. Woohoo. Yeah, and it's really hard um, for sometimes for people just to adjust to the new because you've just been, like, six, seven years of primary school having all your friends. Another thing is my some I I'm lucky that all my friends were going to the same um, secondary school as me because um, if I if all my friends.
friends went to a different school, I would probably be the saddest person in the world. I don't have new friends. But I found some new friends, so it's okay. But at the start of the year, I'd have been like, lonely, I am so lonely. But I really don't care. Because I'd have a this guy. This llama. Llama sheep pudding. But yeah, this is also what I've been doing. <laughs> um, and it's really hard. But in year seven, we get we got to go on a Paris trip to Paris, which you guys know about because I've been talking about. I talked about it on my channel months ago uh, for um for, before it actually got around. It was so cool, and it's really great. So guys, there's another thing that you have to learn. Okay, do you? I'm not ill. So you sound ill. I'm not ill. Keep sniffing your nose. You are ill. <laughs> I'm not ill. See, I'm perfectly fine. So you have to surround yourself with the um a friend group because if I have this friend that sometimes my friend and then she's sometimes not my friend. So right now I'm in a group with two other girls, we're like the, the three girl group where we like every lesson we're in the same lesson so every time the teacher says group of three or four we go in a group but it's really hard sometimes because if one of us, say if I had an argument with one of the girl, the, what, the other girl then the girl that we didn't have an argument with would have to go with one of us they wouldn't be able to be friends with both of us, they'd have to be friends with one of us so then we get into a whole new argument about who would you be with. So just try and surround yourselves with the good people. So I found out the start of the year, I tried to be the cool kid. No, that did not work out. I just embarrassed myself. So I find that I'm actually, I feel like I'm better in the group with the, not nerds, but like the more well-behaved kids in my class. Because when I'm hanging around with the kids that aren't, bad it's just hard and when I'm hanging around with the kids that are good it's easier so yeah that was the video guys I hope you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and comment your favorite color you know the drill so I just yeah this is a random video I'll see you guys next video bye